Hello champions, uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss uh, GMAT based uh, reading comprehension. Uh, the focus is on central idea based uh, reading but uh, I will also uh, uh, put in some emphasis on uh, option elimination in theme based questions. So uh, let's get started. Uh, right, so this is a, a reading of vlog 4. Uh, this uh, is a shorter uh, comprehension, uh, 197 words, uh, two paragraphs. So we will write down two central ideas. So let me start with the first paragraph. Coral reefs are one of the most uh, fragile, biologically complex and diverse marine ecosystems on earth. And uh, this ecosystem is very fascinating uh, uh, and it's a paradoxical thing in biosphere because it is very weird to uh, kind of understand how nutrient poor water support such uh, productive communities. So uh, as I read the first part, I first think what is this about? This is about coral reefs uh, and uh, how they thrive uh, in uh, nutrient uh, poor waters. That is what this is about, right? Okay, further. Now part of the answer lies in the tissues of the corals themselves. And there is an algae which carries out photosynthesis using the metabolic waste of the coral and produces food for themselves and for all the members of the reef community. So this symbiotic relationship allows organisms in the reef community to use sparse nutrient resources effectively. So in the end, I just write down the, that basically it is a symbiotic uh, uh, relationship or symbiotic uh, ecosystem. Let me write in short, right? So that is what is the central idea of the uh, first paragraph, right? Okay. Let's move to the next paragraph. What is the next paragraph about? Let's check that out. Unfortunately for uh, coral leaves, however, a variety of human activities are causing worldwide degradation of shallow marine habitats by adding nutrients to water uh, through agriculture, land burning, uh, sewage and manufacturing waste, which increase nutrient loads in these waters. So we are, what are we talking about here now? Central idea of the second paragraph, we are talking about human created uh, uh, nutrients, water nutrients, right? A nutrient or if you want to be more specific, you can write uh, overload, right? Now, and this leads to reef decline, uh, right? And the typical symptoms are destabilized herbivore populations, increase in algae and water and filter feeding animals. Decline in reef communities are consistent with observations that the input is in, uh, increasing in direct proportion to human populations, threatening reef communities sensitive to changes in nutrient inputs. So human created water nutrient overload, eventually what is it leading to? It is leading to a decline in reef communities. That is what is the central idea of the second paragraph. So uh, very simply, uh, I am repetitively doing this exercise because I want all of you guys to understand this is an ex exercise of specificity. This is a skill. Basically, uh, after being done through the first part of the paragraph, you think, what am I reading about? And in the end, you write two, three words thinking, okay, what about it? It's, this is how you best capture the essence of every paragraph uh, while you read. And this will help you in all theme-based questions in CAT and also in faster query processing when it comes to looking for answers, right? Okay, so let's go back to the paragraph here. So if you see the first paragraph is, uh, let, let me bring these snippets. The first paragraph is talking about the fact that coral leaves, they thrive, how do they thrive in the nutrient poor waters? And it talks about the symbiotic ecosystem, right? Sorry. And the second paragraph, it talks about uh, how human created uh, water nutrient overload is leading, uh, is uh, re, uh, a cause for uh, the decline in reefs. So, okay. So if, if what is the question now? Now, uh, so let me remove these, uh, this, these details now. I, I have the two central ideas and uh, let me now try to uh, get to the question. What is the question asking you? Uh, the question is asking, the paragraph is primarily concerned, right? So what is the main purpose? It's it's, it's a theme-based, purpose-based question. Uh, wherein uh, uh, you are looking at uh, what is the major objective? It's an objective-based question, basically. Uh, where So in such questions, what you look for is, you look for uh, the main objective. And it's, so there are two things. One, uh, it should be based on the passage. Two, uh, it should be directly uh, um, as specific as possible, right? And it should be main. Main means, uh, it should holistically cover the overall objective of writing the passage. So if you look at this uh, central idea one and two, it is about coral leaf, uh, reefs, how they survive, uh, thrive in nutrient poor waters, uh, describing the symbiotic ecosystem, and then talking about how human created water, uh, the, the human created uh, uh, 
uh, water nutrient overload is leading to the decline of these communities. Okay. So without even looking at the options, I can feel that it is about coral reefs and how human interference is leading to coral reef decline and disturbing that ecosystem. That is uh, the kind of synopsis which comes to my mind. Now I will uh, take each option on its merit. The first one, describing the effects of human activities on algae and coral reefs. All right. Uh, okay. Now effects on algae. Now that is just that was just a part. We are more about coral leaves here, right? Effects on algae is not the major part. So you see, if I'm reading uh, very uh, carefully, automatically I get a feeling that this is not the uh, main purpose on algae. The effect is not the main purpose. The main purpose is on is on uh, uh, the focus is on uh, reefs. So. I see, I get a feeling, okay, it doesn't look good to me. Okay, second one, explaining how human activities are posing a threat to coral reef communities. Yes, this is a, this is a described, no doubt. So I will not cut it because that is fair. C, discussing the process by which coral reefs deteriorate in nutrient poor waters. No process has been discussed. If I look at the difference between two and three, both are talking about the threat, but right? Two is saying how human activities are posing a threat and three is saying describing uh, the process by which they deteriorate. So that process, there is no process description here. It simply said that human nutrients are actually leading to it. The process has not been discussed. Right. So you need to be very careful about the kind of phrase that has been used. Right. Okay. Number four. Describing the abundance of algae and filter feeding animals in coral reef areas. Right. That is not the main objective. That is not the main motive. That is just a part, not the whole. You know? The abundance of algae. Again, algae is not the focus here. Right. The filter feeding animals are not the focus here. The focus here, so uh, the focus here is basically uh, how the ecosystem is being disturbed by the human intervention, right? So if you see what is the objective, is it to discuss a process how uh, the nutrient, uh, the ecosystem is disturbed or is it to explain how human activities are posing a threat? According to the passage, right, uh, explanation, right, that is something which is uh, uh, a more appropriate term. So if, uh, if you see these two options were close and among these options, uh, the one which we choose as the right answer is 2 because that is more uh, precise according to the given passage. All right. It's the no process has been discussed. Yes, but the activities have been explained. So this uh, uh, is the major reason why uh, we uh, kind of uh, choose 2 over the other options. So 2 becomes your right answer. So I hope uh, this option elimination and this ability to understand uh, that you can, uh, in all such questions, mostly you will be able to eliminate a uh, couple of uh, garbage options. That's what I call them. And uh, then you uh, get, you uh, might get confused if it's a moderately difficult question among two options, uh, between two options. And in these two options, basically then you see which one is more specific, more precise according to the passage uh, which is given and which one better describes the purpose of the given paragraphs. So I hope uh, uh, you run these, uh, you attempt well and you go through these explanations and this is how you will learn uh, how to take a more uh, focused and uh, better uh, decision in your uh, answer attempts in the reading comprehension and the verbal reasoning section. Thank you.